everybody. Okay, let's get soaping with olive oil. All right, so everybody's talking about, I wanna make a Castile soap, I wanna make a Castile soap. Castile soap is so awesome, but it takes, you know, they, they cure that stuff for what, nine years in Italy before they sell it? I ain't got nine years. Well, I hope I got nine years, but I ain't got nine years to wait on a bar of soap. So, 100% olive oil you can make, but we add just a touch of coconut oil. Now, if you look, I know you're saying, that's horrible, it's not pure castor, castile soap. But if you look at Dr. Bronner's castile soap, olive oil is just part of the recipe. It's got a whole bunch of different things in it. Matter of fact, I've got a picture of the ingredients list. I'll post it in here right now. Okay, so we're gonna make a Castile soap that is, oh, let me make sure I got it right. We're gonna make it 75% olive oil. I hope that's good enough for you guys. And 25% coconut oil. So you can call it Castile soap, just like the apple juice you just drank may have citric acid, corn syrup, artificial colors, but they'll call it pure apple juice. I'm just saying on the bottle. So let's get our scale out and let's get soaping. All right, so the first thing we need is we need our oils. I'm gonna tear out the bowl and we're gonna need, let me get back to my recipe. We're, now remember, we're doing this in pound and a half increments and I'm gonna make a three pound batch. You can make a pound and a half by only using one increment where I'm using two increments. All right, so our coconut oil is four ounces. I am gonna do two increments, so I'm gonna go ahead and put eight ounces of coconut oil in here. Don't fuss with me. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Oh, I got too much. Okay, so I have eight ounces of coconut, and I purchased that from Soper's Choice and also Essential Depot. I bounce back and forth. And I buy my olive oil from um, Essential Depot, and I absolutely love it. And we need 12 ounces of olive oil times two, so that is 24 ounces. See, that's a whole lot of olive oil. Oh, I'm on pounds and ounces. There we go, need to be just on ounces. 20, 22, Almost 23. Go really slow. There we go. All right. Now, I'm doing this recipe at a 3% super fat level. The reason I'm doing that is because one, this part is gonna be soft because it's got olive oil as the main component. It's also gonna have to cure for freaking ever so we want to make it um, as non-soft as possible, so a smaller super fat level. And then three, olive oil doesn't 100% saponify, so it's gonna have undetermined super fats in the product that you can't control because olive oil won't turn 100% into soap. So I'm only doing 3% thinking that at least 2% of the olive oil will not saponify, so we're gonna end up with around 5%. And I think 5% is more than enough on an olive oil because olive oil makes creaminess, it's a little low, but it's within range. But on, but on conditioning, it's 64. And so it's very conditioning. So we wanna make sure that we don't over super fat it because that would make the bar super soft. All right, so let's get these things out of the way. Now for the scent, we're gonna do Essential Depot's Lemon Blossom and Essential Depot's uh, Pomegranate Fragrance. It's half, half. So I'm doing two increments, 
So I've got two ounces, an ounce of one and an ounce of the other already poured up. All right, so now we're gonna need to mix our lye. So let's, we've got our oil set aside. I've got an extra bowl in case I need it, but I'm gonna set it back here out of my way. And remember, I'm teaching you how to soap hot right now. We're gonna start uh, working with soaping cool a little bit later. Uh, let me get my goggle, my, I like to call them my goggles, my goggles on, because my grandson calls them goggles. And, uh, and our gloves, we must protect ourselves from the lie. But if you do anything, wear eye protection. You gotta go to the hospital to get the lie neutralized uh, if you get it in your eye. Everything else, you can take a shower, you can wash with water, uh, you can pour vinegar on it to neutralize it, but um, lie, it, it's a hospital visit if you get it in your eye. And it can eat your cornea. You know, it's just your cornea. Calm down, no, I'm just kidding, it's serious. We gotta make sure that we keep it out of our eyes. Um, if you start feeling this little itchy place and it gets worse and, it, and then it starts feeling raw, you've accidentally not noticed that you've got lye on yourself and you're gonna get a burn because you've waited so long. But if you immediately, oh, I got lye on me, I felt the splash, and you go wash and, and put the vinegar on there, I don't even get a burn mark. So it's all about being uh, noticing your environment and what you're doing. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure our water. On our water, we need 6.8 ounces. And I, I, I do not, I have not been doing a water reduction because I am a hot process soaper, as I explained, who's trying to learn how to help newbie cold process soapers are people that want to make soap just from at home for their families. Um, this series is all about me learning and you getting to go along for the ride as I experiment and me teaching you things I do know for sure, like lie safety and certain things, precautions that's necessary. We may end up finding a few errors along the way, but I'm going to show you the good, the bad, the ugly, what worked and what didn't. All right, so. Because olive oil is so slow, so slow to cure, and it's such a soft bar, and I'm not adding colorant, I'm just gonna add some fragrance, which you don't have to do. Um, instead of six ounces, six, 6.1 ounces of water, I'm gonna reduce that to 5.1. I'm gonna take one ounce of water away. Wish me luck, let's see how it goes. Okay, so let me tear that out. So five and five is 10. And then the little point one is 5.10, is 10.2. Uh, oh, and I got too much already. Oh, I got 10 ounces on the dot. I just gotta get a little bit in there. I just gotta get a little bit in there. Oh, good. I did it. All right. Okay. So we've got our water. Now we got to get our lye. Remember to shake your lye because we do not want our lye uh, because the lye has contact with the air on the very top with the air in the bottle and the air diminishes its power slightly. And so by shaking it up, we're blending that up and not getting all of that lye in our pour. Okay, on the lie, it's asking us for 2.3. So I'm gonna do 4.6 because I'm doing two increments. Yeah, 4.6. Wait, is that right? Two point, yeah. Oh, that was quick. Got it, perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, let's get the scale out of the way. And we've got our water. We've got our very long whisk so that we don't have to have our hand in the jug. We've got a firm grip on our container. We're gonna dump about half of it. Firm grip. Whisk the far out of it. 
because you've got it in this tall, um, small drape pitcher, it's very hard for it to splash you. It's, the water level is way down here, so it's just really hard for it to escape. Doing this video, I'm having to get right on top of the lie because of how low this yellow table is. <coughs> and I am honestly getting a few fumes today. And I try to never do that. Try to stay away from your lie when you're mixing it. Stay below it. You can even, as I saw Bonnie on Good Earth Spa do one time, get down on the floor, girl. So now I'm going to put all my life things back on my life safety tray and get it away from the soaping table. Nothing can drip on the floor that way. Okay, now we're using, and I hope you're following along in the series and starting with one and going to the end, uh, but we are using a tall stainless steel container. It must be stainless steel or glass. Uh, can, uh, really heavyweight plastic might be okay. Uh, but lies hot, it can melt plastic, um, it doesn't like aluminum, and you want something tall because you're going to be splattering around with your stick blender and things are going to be squirting around it and it can get on you. And so even though we're making small batches, I'm using, because we're, we're soaping hot, I'm, I'm, make, I'm using this really tall container for safety. So here goes our olive oil and our coconut oil. I just knew I was getting splashed. And I'm using no colorant because Castile soap is, is not supposed to be colored. I mean, it's like a Italian, uh, what's that other country over there, Steve? Italy and Spain. Spain, is it? The, France. Huh? France. No, no, that little country right there at the bottom of Italy. Zin they're the ones that founded uh, oh, the Sicily. mall. Sicily. I think it's sort of a Sicily and Italy tradition to make 100% Castile soap. Uh, maybe they won't fuss at me the way they do because I told how to make African soap. Um, those folks are mad at me. Them African folks are mad at me because they don't like it. I told how to make that soap. And I'm real sorry about it. Um, I didn't know it was different than any other soap. I thought I could teach you how to make any kind of soap I knew how to make, and it would be okay. Okay, so we've got these chunks of olive oil. Now, I'm asking for people to help me by becoming a patron, because right now, I'd love it if I had a mounted camera above me or another camera pointing down in the container so I could show you what was going on here and over from this point of view and just switch back and forth really easy, but I don't have that feature right now. But I'm asking people if they would join me by being a patron so that I can afford some of this other stuff that I need to make better videos for you. All right, so I've got chunks of coconut oil in here. And I'm going to pre-hem them with the stick blender just a little bit. You saw me do that. Okay, so this lie is hot and it's going right in. All right. I'm putting it at a slight angle because that keeps my stick blender better submerged on small batches. because we just had a little bit of coconut oil that was solid. Um, on this recipe, I don't recommend that you pre-soften your coconut oil uh, because um, this recipe is a soft recipe, but it's also, uh, you know, 75% liquid oil. So we're soaping hot, so we've got to give the lice something to eat on. 
uh, to cool it down. Okay, so I'm just coming to a light trace and I'm going to bring the camera over here. I think I have time with this particular recipe to make the change so that you can see what this looks like. See how we've got some swirls? We're just starting to get to a light wooden effect. Okay, so now we're going to add our two ounces of fragrance and two ounces because it's Essential Depot fragrance. We're going to hope there is no reaction with the lye, uh, with pomegranate and uh, lemon blossom. You gotta try that. Oh my gosh, you gotta try that. People make fun of me because of buying a stick blender. I don't know why. Just seemed like the right thing to do. Just bang it, get that stuff off of there. All right, so I'm gonna sit it on my table. That's good, I'm gonna have to be careful when I clean that up. All right, so let's get our mold. And as I said, I'm not doing any color. It's out of state, Castile soap. It's just supposed to be like some pure, wholesome thing that doesn't have color in it. <laughs> we might decide to do something different later. Okay, now we are going to tap um, you could just do a swirl like that. That's pretty. I like that. You could also do long ripples. You could pull it away from the sides in a mold and sort of tip it up there. You could take then and do a little swirl in the middle with your spoon. That's pretty nice. But maybe we might just do some S patterns on top of that little lump that we made. Hey, that's pretty cool. I don't know, it seems like it needs a little bit more work. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that. I like that. I'm just as 
very, 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 very Castile soap. It's just got a little bit of coconut in it, so you don't have to cure it for nine freaking years, but it still may take a while, okay? You can use it in four to six weeks, but you most likely gonna have to let it cure longer for it to have very much staying power in the shower. Okay, so this is the soaps we've made in this series so far. They look really nice. Once you put these here, you gotta be really careful. They crack really easy if you move them once they become getting solid. Um, <clears throat> this one over here is already very solid, so I'm not worried about the towels touching it, but I am this one, so I've been putting these card the piece of cardboard on there just to make sure the towels and then the blanket, when the blanket goes on top, it doesn't sink down. So that's the way we'll leave it, except for I put a blanket on there too, um, and for tw 24 to 48 hours.